talk today about playing a cigar box guitar with a slide. Today I got a three string cigar box guitar tuned to open G, G, D, G, and I'm playing with a slide. Um, first, get a good slide that fits your finger well. There's tons of different ones. Uh, stone, metal, old bottles made out of different stuff. Copper, short ones, small ones. I like a I like this glass one. It fits my finger really well, um, and I've just been using it a bunch, and I really like that one, so that's the one I've been using. That's what I'm going to go with today. But uh, So I'm going to just play a riff on this very top string, the one furthest away, and I'm going to let the other two strings just drone. So I'm just going to pick something out. It's going to make something up here. Sounds pretty cool, just like that. You can do stuff like that. Really easy way to play, just playing that top string and letting the other strings drone. We can play it with a slide and it makes it jump, gives it a cool tone. So let's hear that same kind of idea with a slide. A cool tone and all I'm doing I'm just barely touching that slide to the top string and my other two fingers get the pinky he's got to stay out the way but these two fingers just rest on the string and that slide goes right on top of the string and what's happening is these two fingers kind of mute that string so it doesn't buzz and chatter so it gives you a real crisp tone kind of trick is to slide up to your note instead of just going I like to kind of slide up to my notes to give it that swirl and I'm putting that slide right on top of the fret right above it I'm not mashing it down I'm just resting the center of the slide right on top of the fret line. That's how I know I'm getting a true note. So uh, let those other strings drone and just do that top string. Letting these two fingers kind of mute the slide. And hey, I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. it. Just works for me, you know. You can play it on your pinky and you have more fingers to fret or I've you know, seen guys play it on this finger. It's just the way I, I do it. And it works for me, so find a method and go for it. But uh, this works for me, and I just figured I'd show it to you. So. Another thing you can do is play all the strings. And what I'm doing there is I'm keeping my slide... And then again, I'm just barely touching it to all three strings, and I'm using these two fingers. I'm laying them over the string so they don't they don't buzz. The strings don't buzz. You get a nice crisp tone. And I'm keeping my slide straight on that fret, just kind of having an imaginary line to where that slide that slide is right on top of that fret. You're gonna get a little buzz, but that's part of playing with a slide, it gives it that cool tone, so you can kind of... So practice doing that, practice just holding that slide and letting those fingers mute behind it. kind of slide it around and try not to keep it too still to give it a nice bend. So practice that method and hopefully you'll have some success and just have fun and strum and don't worry about anything else. Just make it go. So good luck with it.